This video is brought to you by Low Pop Studios. Click the first link in the description to know more. Is it rolling? Okay. Hey. <laughs> is it rolling? Okay. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Farid from Low Pop Studios, and I'm here with an exciting tutorial on this new effect from this latest music video from Ed Sheeran. Check it out. If you think this is an interesting topic which you'd like to know more about, then stay tuned because I'm about to marvel your eyes and I'm going to take you on a joyful ride. So let's roll up the intro and start the tutorial. I said roll up the intro now. Little Pop Studio. If you just tuned in here or this is your first time watching, my name is Idrisu Muhammad Farid and this is Lil Pop Studios, a channel where we take the Hollywood effects and break them down into simpler and um uh, I'm confused into simple ways for you, the one at home, to understand. I copied it from Africa base. Damn. Okay, so as I already said in the intro, today we are going to be recreating an effect from from Ed Sheeran. That's his latest music video, which I already showed you in the preview above. And we are going to be using Mocha Pro and After Effects. So stay tuned. And let's <clears throat> let's punch it in the eye. For the shots, I have with me this wonderful fine boy, this little boy, my junior brother. His name is Borisa. Borisa, come in front of the camera. He's the one to be my talent. For the shots, we just need a tripod shot of someone smiling and singing or something. If you have lights, then you can play with lights. But since we are doing everything on a low budget, we are just going to use sunlight and do this day to night conversion. If you want to see a tutorial on how to convert a video from day to night, leave it in the comment section, then I'll add to you. Load your footage into After Effects, right click and select new compound selection. Rename your footage to clean plate and duplicate it and rename the duplicate to mocha track. Go to the effects panel and search for the mocha or just move to effects and go to Boris FX and go to mocha pro. Click on the mocha icon to open mocha. With Z and X you can pan and zoom in. With the X spline tool, draw a simple mask around your face because it's the face we are going to put the makeup on. Take perspective and tick mesh. Change the generation mode to uniform and reduce the mesh size to however you want it. And in this case, I'm going to be using 28. Now take adaptive contrast and click on generate mesh again. Now click on the track forward and let Mocha do its thing. And in the meantime, let's go for a sponsor break. Hold up. Let's talk about today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is you and Lil Pop Studios. It doesn't make sense, right? This here is the filmmaking Lil Pop Studios. And the one who is sponsoring the video is the graphics Lil Pop Studios. And you, you are the one who has subscribed to this channel. You are the one watching this video. You are the one who gave me this thumbs up and you are the one who is making me continue. And Lil Pop Studios is the one who is designing my thumbnails. Check out the first link in the description for their WhatsApp number. You can text them for all your graphic needs. Now fast forward to the tutorial. Now Mocha Pro is done with the tracking. Let's continue with the effect. We now need to stabilize our footage. So we are going into the stabilize panel and then we are going to turn on mesh wrap expand to planar surfaces on top here we are going to change the mode to high and then we're going to save mocha and close and go back into after effects in after effects i took a snapshot of my first frame and i imported it into after effects i'd already experimented with my blending mode so i decided to duplicate my reference into two and then i now imported it into my composition and if you just take a look at these these are just still frame rendered I then went into Google Chrome and then I searched for Vipire makeup and I couldn't find any but another idea came up. I searched for the Joker and I had this simple cool Joker face. Then imported it into Photoshop with my reference frame 
then I warped it to match my talent with, erased some parts, experimented with some blending modes, that's why I had to duplicate my footage twice, I experimented with overlay and normal, and then I just imported all of them as PNG files, and then I imported them back into After Effects. In After Effects, right click and pre-comp all your reference frames, and move all attributes into the U company. Now, click on the mocha track and copy the mocha effect and paste it on the pre-comp. Now we are going to take render and we are going to change this to stabilize wrap and then we are going to take apply mat. Then we now take the new effect we've created and we are going to copy it and paste it on the other reference pre-comp that we made. Now double click on your pre-comp to open it and then you can now import everything that you made in Photoshop. Now you turn off the reference frame and leave it blank. Now move back into the main composition and change it into the blending mode that you made it in Photoshop. Do the same for the other one. We have this preview. Now it's time for our day to night conversion. Now we have to right click and create a new adjustment layer. And on the adjustment layer, we are going to add these effects. We are going to add the exposure, brightness and contrast, and photo filter. We need to have a dark and a cool environment. So you need to make the blues pop and then you need to reduce the exposure and add a little bit of more contrast. So you can follow what I'm doing or you can create your own values. Our effect is almost done. All you need to do is create a mask around your talent just to make your talent pop a little bit and make the feather so much that it's not visible. It's not even visible. Taking a look back at the effect, it's just masks which create the transition. So we are just going to create masks and animate them to open over time. And that's the end of the effect. You can play with it anyhow you want it to be. Thank you guys for staying with me till this part of the video and thank you guys for the support. Thank eh? Eh?